Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem related to sequences and series. For any three positive real numbers A, B and C, 9 into 25 A square plus B square plus 25 into C square minus 3 AC equal to 15 B into 3 A plus C. Then B, C, A are in A, P, A, B, C are in A, P, A, B, C are in G, P, B, C, A are in G, P. So, this equation is given to us. We have to simplify and we have to find out whether A, B, C or B, C, A are in A, P or G, P respectively. So, to solve this problem, first we will try to simplify whatever the equation given to us. We see there are squares. We can see A square, B square, C square. So we will check whether this fits into any known algebraic identity. If it fits, then we should be able to find out the one of the options whichever is correct. Let's go ahead. Let's write down the given equation. We have been given 9 into 25 A square plus B square plus 25 into c square minus 3ac is equal to 15b into 3a plus c. Let's bring everything to right left hand side. It will become 225a square plus 9b square plus 25c square minus 75ac minus 45ab minus 15 BC equal to 0. Now we see 225 A square which is nothing but 15 A whole square. This is 3 B whole square. This is 5 C whole square and we have 15 into 5 here, 15 into 3 here and we also have 3 into 5 here. That means this seems to be fitting into one of the known one of the known algebraic identity or let us check that. So let us say can we write it as 15a whole square 15a whole square plus 3b whole square plus 5c whole square minus 15a into 5c minus 15a into 3b minus 3b into 5c. Now what is this algebraic identity? Looks like part of algebraic identity. What is this equation? Let's have a look at that. It looks like x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx equal to 0. Now, whenever we know this, immediately we know that x equals to y equals to z. How? We will understand that once we solve the problem, I will explain you how this comes if you are not aware of that. So, we know x equals to y equals to z. Now, what is our x here? x is 15a equal to y that is equal to 3b equal to 5c. Now let's try to write everything in terms of A and C of this course. Let us say that let's divide by 15 then we will have A equal to B by 5 is equal to C by 3. A by 1 equal to B by 5 equal to C by 3. Or let's write them in terms of A, what we will have. First A will be A only, B will be 5A and C will be 3A. Now you can clearly see that A, 5A, 3A are not in any progression but 5A, 3A, A are in progression. What is 5A? 5A is B. 5A is B. This is given to us, this is our 
A and this is B, this is C. So, B, C, A are in arithmetic progression because we have 5A minus 2A is 3A, 3A minus 2A is A. So, can we go ahead and say B, C, A are in A, B because we have at the end we when we solved it we got a 5a 3a a 3a 5a are in ap but that option is not available to us the only option which makes sense is 5a 3a a are in ap so we can go and tick option a b c a are in ap now let's go back and understand if this x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus zx y minus yz equal to 0 then how x equal to y equal to z. NCRT 9th class textbook we have this in second chapter as one of the exercise problem part of it. So let's go ahead and see how this becomes. So for that let us say we have x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x equal to 0. What we will do? We will multiply this with and divide with 2. So, we will become 2x square plus 2y square plus 2z square minus 2x y minus 2y z minus 2z x equal to 0. Now, can I go ahead and write in the next step half into x square plus y square. We are picking 1 x square, 1 y square minus 2 x y. Similarly, can I write y square plus z square minus 2 y z and left out is x square plus z square minus 2 x z. This whole thing equal to 0. Now, is it nothing but equal to half of x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square equal to 0? Now, you know that square of a number is always 0 or equal to positive number. Right hand side equal to 0. If right hand side equal to 0, then each part here should be equal to 0 because you square and you square either positive or negative any real number it will be positive only so the only case in which left hand side will be equal to right hand side happens only when x minus y equal to 0 y minus z equal to 0 and z minus x equal to 0 which gives you that x equals to y equals to z now this is the logic which they are asking us to understand and remember so that we can solve this problem pretty easily. So let's recap this. We have been given an equation. We have to from that we have to tell whether ABC are in AP or GP or BCA are in AP or GP. Now we brought everything to left hand side. We understood it is in the form of x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x equals to 0 and once we saw that immediately we know therefore x equals to y equal to z. Our x is 15a and our y is 3b and our z is 5c. Now comparing them and try to get everything in one particular variable we see that b a c are in a p. Now after that we discussed about how x square plus if we know x square plus y square plus z square minus x y minus y z minus z x is 0. How we can say that x equals to y equals to z. So for that we multiplied and divided with 2. We rephrased them as x minus y whole square plus y minus z whole square plus z minus x whole square into 1 by 2 equal to 0. 
that means from that we know x equals to y equals to z that can happen only when x minus y equal to 0 y minus z equal to 0 and z minus x equals to 0 because right hand side is 0 left hand side each term should be 0 because we are squaring it it should be either equal to 0 or positive so each term should be equal to 0 so when we substitute that we get x equal to y equal to z